everybody, Zab here, and welcome to my Hockey Ultimate Team Update series. I believe this is episode 5. Uh, if you haven't seen my Hockey Ultimate Team Update series, basically all this is is every single Monday, I update you guys on my Hockey Ultimate Team and show you all the new players I have gotten in that past week. And uh, we've made a lot of progress this week. We have been every single week. This week may have been the biggest progress, I think, so far. And uh, just to start off, this was my team as of last week. I'll just go ahead and go through the lines. Last week, I added Brooks Orpic and Ryan Kessler. Now, uh, as you can see, I still have Bergeron. I gave him away for the Christmas giveaway, and then I saved up some pucks, and I bought another one because he's just so good. Uh, so he's still on my second line right now. Now, this third line at center was Le Cavalier, Hut Live card. I sold him, so that's why I don't have him there. Uh, and then on the left wing, who was it? Who uh, Mike Ribeiro. And uh, you'll see why I don't have Mike Ribeiro probably within this next week or two. And uh, defensively, I think right D was Bieska. And uh, yeah, so that was that. And then this was my fourth line as of last week in the two goaltenders. Now, for this week, let's go ahead and just switch over to my current, oops, my current team, and uh, where you're going to see there's some pretty, pretty beast players on my team right now. So, Jamie Ben is down here on the fourth line. I picked up the Hut Live Dubinsky. Pretty sick individual stats, an 88 overall. I picked him up for like 15,000 pucks, which is pretty good for him. I know like when he first came out, I'm pretty sure he was running like 30, maybe 35 to 40k when he first came out. But uh, with this Christmas pack that came out a few days ago, the market just completely crashed. And I uh, took advantage to a certain extent. And uh, so he's there. Uh, I have Ever Everly on my third line. Now, Everly is a guy that I definitely think I want to sell eventually. I just don't have anyone to replace him right now. He's done absolutely nothing for me. I don't even know if he's gotten... He might have gotten one goal since I've gotten him, like, two weeks ago. But he's gotten... He's just garbage for me so far. Could be because I'm playing him on my fourth line. Maybe if I had him on my first or second line, he might do a little more for me. But uh, as of now, just uh, garbage. So I'm probably going to sell him and get another player. Now, I did get Bo Meester. A lot of you guys in the comments on one of my videos, my last video or whatever, said to get Bo Meester. Or on my last team update, sorry. A lot of you guys said to get Bo Meester, so I decided to get the Hut Live Bo Meester, and he has definitely been really, really solid for me, so thank you for everyone who suggested uh, to get him. He's an 87 overall right D, 2-way defenseman. He, like I said, he's just been really solid for me. 90 for skating, really fast, uh, fast, fast skating defenseman, 83 for the shot, 87 hands, 87 checking, and 86 defense. Uh, I have him paired up with Victor Hedman. Again, if, you, if you've ever played with Victor Hedman, you know he's a beast. So I have him. Goaltenders have changed, actually. Backstrom is still my starter, but I did pick up Martin Jones. Hut Live card. Now, 82 overall, you probably wouldn't think he's too good. But if you look at his individual stats, they're actually pretty solid. They're, uh, I'd say he's just about the same, if not better, uh, as far as individual stats uh, than Backstrom. He's actually been really solid for me. I think I've played maybe four games with him, and he's allowed maybe, I don't know, a couple goals that I can remember. Uh, I'll definitely look at his stats in a minute. Moving on to my third line, right here, Nick Backstrom, a 90 overall center playmaker. Just an absolute beauty. I picked him up uh, in a pack. I pulled him in a pack. If you haven't seen that video, go ahead and check out my channel. I'll go ahead and just drop a link in the description down below. I bought a, I think it was a premium... Is it a premium gold pack? It's the middle one. It's the 8,750 pack. Got him in it. So I'm very, very happy about that. Was going to sell him maybe, but the market was completely garbage at that point. So I decided to keep him. And uh, I've played with him with, for a couple games, and he's been really solid. So I'll probably just keep him for now and for the foreseeable future. I have Voracek on my third line right wing. Had him for a while. He's a veteran on this team. And then I picked up Alexander Steen. Now he has two hot live cards. He has the 85 overall version and the 87. Now it's crazy. This 87 overall version, I I mean, I could just be delusional making this all up, but I'm pretty sure he was going for like 40k at one point before the the stock market crashed. He was going for or stock market, the market. He was going for around 40 to 45k, I believe. I think so cuz I've been wanting to get my hands on him for a while because he's got 89 skating, 88 shot, 88 hands, 87 checking and 89 defense. He's just a solid two-way forward. So picked him up for 15k as well. Uh, 
We got Brooks Orpik, who's already there last week, and I picked up Markov, an offensive defenseman. Now, last last week, I said that I had plans on maybe getting a really, really solid offensive defenseman, and uh, that was Duncan Keith. I don't even remember how much he was going for, but I was going to maybe save up for him, and I might have had enough uh, money. You're going to see my first line is pretty beast right now. Um, I wasn't going to spend that money on Duncan Keith, but anyway, you'll see what I'm talking about once I get up to my first line. Uh, but Markov's been pretty solid for me. Nothing too crazy. I actually picked up James Wisniewski, uh, an offensive defenseman, and I forgot that I had Markov. So I just sold Wisniewski last night. I picked him up for 15k, and I just sold him for 15k. I was worried I was going to lose my money, so I just put him up for 15k. Someone bought him, so that is good. Didn't lose any money there. Second line, like I said, I have Bergeron again. Picked him up off the market after I gave him away. Uh, Johansson and Skinner are the same. I picked up Jack Johnson. Now, I picked up Jack Johnson for a couple of reasons. He was cheap. I bought him for like around 8, 9K. I think he goes for close to 12. And uh, so I just picked him up also because I had Campbell as the offensive defenseman and he got injured. And it was, well, let me look. Can I see? Uh, where is he? Is he in here? No, he's not. It was something crazy like 15 torso injury or whatever. And I just didn't want to pay for the the uh, healing cards, they were going for quite a bit at the point at that time, so I just decided, why not upgrade him, so I picked up Johnson, he's been pretty solid, also got uh, G Dan Girardi here, I got him from Don't Be Sod in a live stream, so I got him for free, so that's cool, and then my first line is about to look sick, here we go, Marion freaking Gabrick on the first line, right wing, he is an alternate or assistant captain, and he is just fantastic, 91 for skating, 91 for his shot, 91 for hands, 84 for checking and defense, that's with the uh, assistant captain, without that, he's, well, that minus one, so, just completely, he, this is such a fast line, I tell you, Gabrick with 91 for skating, Kessler, 92, and uh, Haglin with 89. Now, Gabrick skating is 91, but I think I looked up his speed is actually like a 93 or a 94. I could be uh, wrong, but it's absolutely ridiculous. And then, of course, the first uh, or the fourth line D pairings you already saw. So, yeah, that's my team. It's looking sick. I'll just go ahead and show you all the offensive guys. I am absolutely stacked uh, right down the middle here. 91, 90, 90, 89, just that's just crazy and I would say my offense everyone's changed to Pittsburgh and who doesn't have 99 chemistry that's 99 that's 99 that's 90 I think all of them do oh this is 95 who what do I need oh yeah this one it has to be two-way forward playmaker and sniper so I'll probably end up uh, getting rid of Eberly and getting a right wing playmaker probably make that a 99 chemistry but that's not my main goal my main goal is defense for this next week uh, as you see, I did pick up quite a few defensemen, actually. I picked up how many? One, two, three, four. I picked up four new defensemen, so that's pretty good. I have a couple of guys in my watch list that I want to show you that I'm thinking about getting, and I want your guys' opinion. Sorry this video is going on for a long time. It's going to be a long, long video. It's already going on uh, eight, nine minutes. So I want to show you guys my team record is 235, 83, and 14. A lot of those are offline games. Go ahead and show you my online game record, Hut Seasons. We are, pop up, we are 80, 59, and 10. Last 10 games, we are 5, 3, and 2. Season 17, our season record is 2, 0, and 1 with 7 games remaining. And uh, we're projected to hit that Division 2 title, so hopefully we can do that. And uh, let's go ahead. I, I keep forgetting to show you guys everyone's stats, their offensive stats and everything. Uh, so, oops, we'll go ahead and show you that, I guess. Go to, where am I going? Player statistics. There you go. Nick Backstrom, six games, only two points, but he's been really, really solid for me. Just haven't, uh, haven't been putting in the, the, the pucks in the back of the net, but he's been solid. So let's go ahead and sort. Uh, let's go ahead. Goals. Who has the most goals on my team? TJ Oshie, Oshie actually has the most goals, surprisingly. Uh, that's mainly because I've had him on my team for so long, and a lot of those are just off or offline games. Ex excuse me. Wow, I can't talk, man. Uh, at the top here with goals, assists, and points used to be Bergeron, but like I said, gave him away, so don't have that anymore. So Bo Meester leads the team with the most assists and four points. Jamie Benn actually leads the team with 109 points, so not bad, not bad at all. 
my team, if you've ever seen me play, my team is usually a pretty low scoring team, surprisingly, considering all my offensive threats that I have on my team. Kessler only has 44 points. Uh, Bergeron has 44 points. Who was I going to look up? I wanted to look up Gabrick. There he is. 25 games played, 21 points. So he's doing pretty good for my team. And I suppose we'll just look at the penalties. Yeah, Bo Meester has the most penalties, but I think he's only taken like maybe one penalty while he's on my team. So solid, solid player. Now let's go ahead and get into the players that I may want to get next week. I'm thinking about saving up some pucks and picking up this guy right here. Never mind because there's nothing there. Scratch that idea. Let me go find him one second. Uh, what is he? Is he right or left? I think he's a right D, two-way defenseman for Winnipeg. Dustin Bufflin. Let's see if I can find one. There he is. Dustin Bufflin. So he goes for right around 70 to 75. You can easily pick him up for around 70K. And I have just about 40K. So I'm not too far off. I easily can get enough pucks by this next week. But I don't know if he's any good. I mean, looking at his individual stats, I mean, they're not crazy. 84 for skating, 87 for his shot, 84 for hands. Really what I like is his checking, 93 for checking. And he's just a ginormous tower. How tall is he? Yeah, he's 6'5", 265. That's why I like him. He's just a giant. So I kind of want to pick him up. But, I mean, they're not the best stats, you know? And apparently I heard that Duchesne's coming out with the Team of the Week card in the next Team of the Week. And if that's true, I want to pick him up. But I don't even know how much he'd go for. He'd probably go for a lot. I know his like uh, his normal card goes for around 70k, if, I, if I'm not mistaken. So, I mean, that one, his... Uh, Team of the Week card is probably going to go for 100, maybe 190 to 200 and something. I have no clue. I'm not very good at the market. Go for a lot, I'm sure. Uh, let's see this one. Yeah, 75. So 70 to 75, you can easily pick up a Bufflin. So I'm thinking about that. And let's actually look up. How much is Duncan Keith? Is he a right or left? I think he's a right D offensive defenseman for Chicago. Let's go ahead and take a look at him. I think he's a, ooh, wow, 199. I don't know if he actually goes for two. Uh, he might go for 200K. Uh, he Maybe he's a lefty because I it's hard to believe there's only one of them. Let's see. Is he left D-man? Uh, yeah, I think he is. Yeah, he's definitely a left D-man. So, really, he might go for 200K, I guess. I mean, technically, I could sell, like, Backstrom and Gabrick and easily be able to get him, but I don't know if I want to sell them. The, really, there's only two of them, three of them total on the market. Wow. And they're all uh, around 200k, so I don't think I'm going to be able to save up that much in a week. But uh, definitely something to consider. This card looks absolutely beast. His uh, Hut Live card, look at that. That's ridiculous. 13 minutes, only 45k. That's probably going to skyrocket. Wow, yeah. And he, well, he only goes for 219, but yet his normal one goes for 200. Yeah, so his normal one must not normally go for 200, because there's no way his Hut Live version of the card only goes for around 20k more. Then again, I think it's only a one, plus one boost on a set life card. I don't know. I'm talking way too much. I'm going 13. Oh wait, whoa, shoot. We're nine, 13 minutes in. <laughs> you know what? Let's just make this a long video. I don't care. We're making this a long video. Hopefully, you guys like it. Probably not, but maybe you will. So let's just go and search up two-way defensemen. I think I like two-way uh, defensemen better than offensive or defensive. I don't know why, but I think I do. So let's do that. Let's do... Where are we going? Where are we going? Oh, I can't do level. Why can't I pick level? Oh, I'm hot live. Duh. Well, yeah, let's just look up hot live. Why not? Let's see. Subban. Yeah, nope. Never going to be able to afford that. I was thinking about Carlson. I could pick him up right now. I mean, he's pretty solid, but I don't know. I feel like I'd... I mean, here's the thing. Like, Bufflin goes for around 70, 75k. In 88 overall, just like Carlson. But Carlson's, for his individual stats, 88, 84, 87, 88, and 88. So much better than Bufflin, other than checking. Yeah, Bufflin obviously goes for so much more. And, and of course, that's because he has a name. But uh, if you guys have used Carlson, let me know how he is. He has, he's pretty sick stats. I was, thinking, I was also thinking about getting this guy, McDonough. Uh, Ryan McDonough, Hot Live card, 90 overall. I was thinking about saving up for him. And yeah, 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 yeah. I think I'm going to change my mind. I'm not, I'm just trying to think. Yeah, I think I'm going to get, I think, okay, how about this? I'm going to say this right now. Ryan McDonough is going to be the goal this week. This is who I want to get for next week. My goal is to have this guy on the team by next week's episode. I'm saying it right now. 
unless you guys change my mind and you guys say there's someone a lot better than McDonough, this is the guy I think I want to get. That's pretty. They're pretty sick stats, and you can pick them up for around 120, right? Uh, yeah, this one's going for 120. I think I've seen some buy nows of around 120, 530. Uh, Petrangelo, yeah, 150. So he's going for around 150, give or take. So I think that's who I'm going after, boys. Let me look and see if there's some buy nows. 140, 150, 122 current bid. So he's going for like 150. I don't know if I'm going to be able to save that up in a week, but I'll certainly try. Yeah, I think that's who I'm going after. So I'm going after this next week's goal is to boost up my defense and mainly get Ryan McDonough. So let me know what you think of that. If you agree with me or disagree with me, if you disagree with me, go ahead and tell me uh, what you think I should get. I'd be open to some opinions. Uh, I definitely love to hear it. You guys said to get Bo Meester, and uh, thank you for saying that. Like I said before, he's been really good for me. So I trust your guys' opinion more than anything. So if you think Ryan McDonough is the way to go like I do, go ahead and let me know. If not, tell me who I should get uh, for the, the back end there. Build up my defense. And uh, once that's built up, we're pretty much set. For this team so there you go long episode 16 minutes so far it's a little too long but uh, if you like these longer videos go ahead and let me know also i want to talk about um a live stream now i've been wanting this is just a crazy episode i'm just going everywhere uh f f what was i gonna say a live streams live streams are something i've been wanting to try uh you know here and there i think it would be kind of cool once i get around 150 maybe 200k by next week if i can I think that it would be cool maybe on a Saturday or a Sunday do a like live show, uh, you know, a team builder type thing where I go search the market, you know, see who I'm going to get. Maybe do a couple like a little tiny trade day, uh, maybe some shootouts, something like that with you guys if you want to play some shootouts. I don't know, something like that. It's just something that I've been pondering around for a while. So I think that's something I might want to do. Let me know if you'd want to see that and if you'd show up. So, yeah, what else do I want to go over really quick? Let's go ahead and talk about this next week's schedule for videos. Uh, a lot of you guys, I don't know if you know for sure, but I do post, I do have a schedule. I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And, uh, you know, I'll post here and there on days that aren't Monday, Wednesday, or Friday. If, uh, you know, there's a special pack out or something. There's a mega pack out. Not picking it up, though. Not going to, not opening any of that. I'm saving my money. Um, what was I going to say? Whew. I have two pink sli or not two pinks. I have two wager matches that uh, will be posted at some point. I don't know if they'll be posted this week. Probably one of them. I have some OTP with Johnny Superb Man and Don't Be Sod. Uh, other than that, yeah, I think that's it. So probably you'll see one of the OTPs this week in a, a wager match. So that's what to look forward to for this week. And uh, this video has gone on way too long. But, guys, if you did enjoy this video, please do leave it with a big thumbs up. Subscribe for much, much more. And, guys, as always, I am Zab, and I'll see you next time.